Welcome to Deep Thought, Those Gifted Folk. Now, in my last podcast, I talked about spiritual subcultures in uh, black America. And I'm going to share something with y'all, right? Share something with y'all. No, not my particular spiritual practices. But one of the things that's always fascinated me since I was little was just gifted folks, especially uh, spiritually gifted folks. Right. Like, uh, you know, we we all know that one person that seemed to be otherworldly or they seem very spiritual or they can read people real well. That's a big that to me, that's a big thing, because on a my 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 thing, even that permeates my books. uh, If I had to say what philosophy I'm ultimately on, it's on human potential. You know, turning men into supermen and superwomen, you know, where we can go. Because even though some people like to argue against it, consciously, the average person uses 5% of their brain, consciously. Now, I know I had some, I said that in a video on my main channel, and somebody came back, well, we really use 100% of our brain. I didn't feel like arguing, because sometimes, sometimes people get real technical, but if we're talking about using our entire brain, we should be immortal. We should be immortal. We should be able to heal everything because it's really your brain that heals something. We shouldn't need a doctor, you know. Well, our body should optimize. We would operate at optimal capacity. But our conscious, we consciously, we only, we ain't even aware of everything that's going on among us. Who can say that they consciously aware of some ants outside the their uh, outside their windowsill think about it or the temperature if they haven't sat outside or, or every single sound that comes by you're not consciously aware it'd be overwhelming but you have some people who might be able to do that like i mentioned the ants and see one of the things that when i say gifted i actually know some real life x-men <laughs> i know some people they shoot it's not even just a spiritual thing. I mean, you know, people might call them psychic or whatever, but they shoot. They can, like, tap in whatever you think, and they can read. You know, whatever you, like, they can read you like a book. They, they take one look at you. It ain't even an even experience thing. It's, it's very much a spiritual thing. They It's like they could always look, and they can look right through you or something. Or, like I mentioned about that ants thing. I know a woman now, she... You know, we, we communicate every once in a while and stuff. Real good person. She, she has an awareness of the ants outside her windowsill. Like, she can feel them. Like, she's like... And there's some scientific basis of it. Because you have some people, their nervous systems are more sensitive to certain type of energy and vibrations. Because they, all of this is energy. Medical, Western science has proven that, you know, on one basic level, we're all the same thing. Everything is made of the same energy. Now, some people are more sensitive to it to others, just like someone can be more sensitive to, uh, like, hot and cold and all of that. Some people are more sensitive to the type of energy that somebody is giving off. And, in fact, uh, one thing I've talked about on my main channel and even provided some evidence, there, there are people out there who can make a woman have an orgasm just by waving their hand. Think about it. And then you have people who are learning like energy healing modalities such as Reiki and uh, healing touch and things of that nature. You know, and like, I mean, as far as that orgasm without touching thing, I mean, you have people being trained to do that now. So the human being, you got, but you have some people just, they just gifted in it. Some people just learn it. And, you know, those gifts don't necessarily have to be a spiritual thing. You know, it could be it could be a high intellect. You know, it could be a natural. It could be just having a warm touch like, a, OK, like you have some people out there and throughout history. We we've, we've heard about healers. But think about it, you have some people who might be naturally gifted with that. Like there's some people they can just touch. You ever like touch a person or be in their presence and you just feel a shudder. Like if you ever walk in, if you ever walked by somebody or they walk by you and you feel like a shudder, that's an energetic thing. 
Because a lot of these gifts are available to everybody. They're just asleep. You know, some people just, for whatever reason, combination of their genetics, you know, their bloodline, um, any training, any experience they have, and how their brains work, they they would have, they on another level. And like I said, it's more than just spirit. But I wanted to touch on that healing thing, right, real quick. Now, you can go by some people, but then some people you walk by, you just feel good. You feel warm. Like if they put their hands on you or touch you or something, you actually feel it. Like you can, um, like you can actually, I think, believe, I know, you can actually heal some people in a hospital if you just go and give them some touch, hold their hand a little bit. You just give it. Like people can feel it. You know, people people can literally feel it. You have some people who can generate heat like that. You know, like with me, for example, I've had women actually, more than one woman tell me they can actually feel heat coming from me. Like they can literally feel it. Like one woman always told me I could be a behind her. She always felt when I was coming. So it's like, that's always, I mean, that's always fascinating me. Like, what do we know? Um... You know, do we know everything? Like in many cultures, somebody with those type of gifts, they were revered. Like they became the shaman. You know, that ability to communicate with the spirit world, that was powerful. Those were the first religions. You had that one person, they, shoot, that's how they started religion, in fact. You know, particularly in Africa, you know, you had women, women especially can really go into spirit and they can say, oh, well, this is what's happening on the other side. Because of, you know, their nervous systems and everything. I knew, uh, I knew a minister, a minister, a couple ministers, and Christian ministers at, at that. And speaking of which, I mean, I know it's frowned upon, but then you have, uh, you know, like charismatic Christian churches that talk about gifts of the spirit. And it's not always, you know, it ain't always some psychic thing or you trying to levitate or something like that. It could just be how you think. Like, it's gifted like you have a person gifted maybe physically, you know, in a physical sense. You see that with some athletes and stuff. Or you have a person gifted by how their mind thinks. Like, um, for example, the house of, when I've talked about the house of the man. One of the pillars of the house is the eagle. That's the man who can see ahead. He can see the step by step. And a beauty of that step by step, sometimes he can see all angles. You can see all angles of something, you know. Then you have uh, people who might be gifted at reading people, like really reading them. Like uh, here's a little secret I don't talk about as much with uh, those gentlemen I label as Mr. Goodbar. There's a whole lot of them that they are what they are because they can just read a woman. They just have a natural gift for reading women. They and then they can like cater to whatever whatever need she has, like. That's their real secret. I don't talk about that often because, you know, a bunch of guys out here trying to figure out something. But that might be one of those things that can't be taught. Now, that's not all of them, but it's a good portion of them. You know, there's, there's a, that's a good portion of them. You know, they just, they, they can just, they just in tune with the women. And also, too, sometimes uh, charisma, like just natural charisma that's a gift. In fact, in um, I mentioned somewhere else in early books on psychic uh, powers and stuff, charisma was always mentioned. And I think I know why it's not mentioned now. And I think probably probably reason why that's a that's actually something that a lot of Christian ministers use, but they don't want to say it. There's a lot of uh, as an aside. There's a lot of things taught in a seminary that will blow people's minds. Any ministers that actually listen, they like, shh, 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 be quiet, bro. But there's a lot of stuff taught in, not all seminaries, but there's some certain seminaries that teach some deep stuff. But then when the ministers come out, they don't tell their congregation. Like, I've known some, like, spiritually gifted ministers. Like, they, they had some real powerful gifts, and they weren't a, they weren't a, they weren't a, uh, Privately, they knew it didn't have anything to do with Jesus or like some mythical devil, but they had the gifts. But basically, they used it to get what they want. Because the gifts, gifts aren't evil or, or good or evil. They're just there. You know, it's just like that cat who can run real fast on a track or something. 
you know it, it's just there but it's always fascinating me because you know i know quite a few people <laughs> they own some serious stuff and i mean because it's big like i said it's bigger than just somebody doing some reading for somebody or something like that you know it could be an academic thing or whatever it really depends like they like they can intuitively find stuff like intuition, that, that's a powerful thing if people listen to it, you know. And, you know, that's connected, that's connected with your subconscious because your subconscious, it can see what's up with the person. It can see past the mask. And some people know have developed the ability to listen to that feeling. Like you have some businessmen. Like I read a, had a book one time. I was reading it, and it was talking about, like, a lot of businessmen. It was a group. It was a, they actually tried to develop that. Like a lot of decisions were made that way also creative intelligence creative intelligence that that's a gift if you can just create stuff you, you have the mind just to create stuff boom and you got these individuals out here you know i think that's one of the reasons why if you look at because i pay attention to media i pay attention to media and what's shown i think that's a lot of reason why you get those supernatural type of movies or something about mutants or x-men and stuff is so popular because a lot of people walking around there with a gift like um even in the autism autistic communities and stuff you have a lot of people that might be diagnosed with autism or something like that functional or whatever but then they're a musical genius or they're a prodigy it's like this one gentleman, he was a brother, I think he's from England. He could take one look at a landscape and then reproduce it. That's a, that's a power right there. That's a power. Like, um, like even my uh, youngest son, he basically taught himself how to read. I forgot, I can't think of the term. See, a lot of times when I do these, I might have a couple notes, but then some will come up and I'm like, oh, wait. And I looked at the term, I was like, oh, yeah, that's him. Where they just... For whatever reason, I mean, this dude's damn near skipped over ABCs because I was just like, wait a minute, how you know this? And, you know, we were funny about having him around other people anyway. So I'm just like, wow. Even now, he he does some things that, you know, you just like, wow. <laughs> you know, he's like, wow. But, you know, you ask some, you ask some people like that. Oh, my oldest son, um. Uh, He's interesting because he's actually, yeah, if he stopped being lazy and just dealing with the, want to just be on a computer game, he'd probably be a mathematical genius. Like you just thought, I used to just play with him, just throw numbers at him. He'd be calculating it for me. So I was just like, it's, it's different. It's, and you know, and like I said, all of that always interests me. That's a personal thing because I've always been about human potential. Everybody being the best they can be, you know. And, you know, then that that would be a continued thing. And I think one of the things that kind of spurred it on, and this is real personal, I've mentioned before that uh, my sister, uh, I mean, she had passed a couple years ago, but, she, and, you know, we thought she was mentally retarded, but, like, further, it was basically undiagnosed autism. And so, well, they treated her like she was retarded, but then I remember one time, she could actually take some paper and some tape and put together a three-dimensional house with toilets, everything in it. Like, she just did it just for something to do one day. I was just like, wow. So, you know, it's always been an interest of mine. It's an interest, and it's deep because I think a lot, I think a society in general could be changed if we were to develop every single person's gift. I believe every single person has something that they're special at. Because the education system now basically prepares people to work for other people. It really doesn't. I mean, it can, in certain areas, it can, uh, it can pull out those people that help contribute to the system. But it, it doesn't develop every single gift. Everybody don't learn the same. Everybody's not meant to be a doctor or an attorney, you know. And then some people, you know what, some people meant to interact with spirit better than the rest of the population. You know, some people have a healing touch to them. You know, some people are supposed to be more physically gifted. 
And I, I really believe that's when we really make it and change the society, when we can look at every single person and say, okay, what's this person's gift? What's their special? What's their special thing? And I think I think that's happening on a collective unconscious level. That's why stuff like X Men is so popular, or superhero movies, or anything like that. So anyway, right? That's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Keep rising and transforming. Peace. <laughs>